Maybe you are enjoying an adult beverage right now, and if you are, maybe you wouldn't mind investing in the same thing because your next guest founded a company that is opening the doors to investing in whiskey. Joining us now is the founder and CEO of Cask X, Jeremy Castle. Jeremy, good to have you on the program. Uh, how does it work? How do I invest in a barrel or a company that makes bourbon? Well, our company uh, initially goes out. We purchase uh, a few thousand barrels of new make or new filled bourbon, uh, which his name suggests is just is the liquid is just being put into the barrel. We then uh, separate those up into lots of say 100 or 200. And we offer them to retail investors uh, who purchase the barrels. We then uh, help store them for a period of up to eight years. And of course, over that time, the the whiskey itself is improving with flavor and therefore becoming more expensive. Now, my if I didn't, by the way, it's got to be clear, it's only open to really accredited and wealthier investors right now, high annual incomes, high net worth. That may change, but that's the rule. So if, if I want to do, I don't think I could meet it, but if somebody wanted to invest in these barrels, are they investing to then take the barrels themselves and drink it, or are they going to be resold and theoretically then make a profit on the difference? No, they're they're resting it into the liquid itself, so you, you're not buying the uh, you're not going to take the barrel home uh, or have to store it, etc. That the barrels themselves are stored at um, a federally bonded warehouse, uh, and like I say, as the liquid ages, it improves with flavour, and then at a later stage, and it could be uh, two, four, eight years later, when you decide to sell, uh, we'll help you to sell it to uh, a private bottler. Or, or a distillery that wishes to put that liquid into a, a nice bottle. Yeah, and what's the risk here? Is the risk that the whiskey just is like, and who's making it? Can you tell us that? Like, is this Pappy's or who are we talking about here? Well, yeah, it, it's not Pappy because Pappy don't need to sell. Yeah, they don't need us. <laughs> no, but we deal with some really great uh, distilleries in Kentucky and Tennessee. Uh, we do a lot of due, due diligence before we select the distilleries themselves. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a, a tangible commodity. It's something that, as we say, improves your flavor. You can, you can go to the distillery, you can, you can touch the barrel, you can taste the liquid. Uh, yep. It's something real, and it's something people enjoy. 